and of the holy spirit amen lord we thank you for this beautiful opportunity that you have given us we thank you for all the lovely people who have gathered here it is not by chance but by choice we are here to know you to seek you to have a relationship with you lord jesus help us to understand your truths the wisdom key is hidden in your word as we grow more and more deeper in your word holy spirit take complete authority of this entire zoom session take complete authority of my mind and my vocal cords so that let every word that is spoken be of yours and nothing of mine lord amen praise god okay so in the last class we were learning on this topic called wisdom okay now we know that every problem is a wisdom problem and the key to that is in the bible every promise of god is the wisdom key is the solution in yesterday's class we were learning about the example of in a house there are many rooms and every room has a, a there's a key to open the lock of every room each key is different each key is specific in the same way for different problems in our life each wisdom key that is each promise is unique and that is why when we get the relevant scriptures we have to ask the lord to show it to us practically and that is what is called understanding understanding means having practical working knowledge of the word of god praise god so yesterday we had discussed about this particular scripture get wisdom get understanding i just shared my screen in proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 can somebody read please wisdom is a principal thing therefore get wisdom and with all thy getting get understand praise god thank you jesus so this scripture says wisdom is the principal thing now what is a principal okay the yes will someone answer thank you jesus principle is the most important thing like in a school in the school there is a principle the principle is the main person right in the same way in the same way wisdom is the principal thing that means it's the most important thing because as we learned and we are learning that every problem is a wisdom problem because we do not have wisdom in that particular area in that area we need the holy spirit to make us understand how to apply the word of god and that is why wisdom is the principal thing thank you jesus you know what i would like to share over here whenever we go into any problem the first thing is our prayers are lord get me out of this problem isn't it and we'll go and tell everybody brother sister pray for me okay that's a good thing but instead of asking the lord to solve the problem if my prayer is like 
Lord, show me, give me the wisdom so that using your wisdom, I can solve this problem. How many times we pray like this? And how many times we say, Lord, can you get me out of this problem? Sister, please keep me in prayer. How many times our prayers are like that? Honestly. Thank you, Jesus. Even I was of this, you know, this kind who would want God to get me out of a, the problem. You know, give me a quick solution. Until the Holy Spirit made me understand in every difficulty, the trials come for our good. Why? If I take this trial, this difficulty as an opportunity to get a practical experience of the word, to get the wisdom where the, the logos, that is the written word, becomes the spoken word, that is when my relationship with Jesus will grow intimate. Thank you, Jesus. Now, tell me honestly, are we close to God when everything is good? Or are we close to God when things are not good? Can somebody tell me? Not good. Yeah, not good. Why? Because when things are good, it's like I don't feel like remembering God. I'm just so happy. I'm just so self-sufficient. But when things start going bad, what happens? I have no choice. Now things are not going to work. And that is why I have no option but to depend on God. Praise God. And that is why if you start taking the bad things, the difficult situations as an opportunity to use the wisdom of God by asking for it in faith and asking the Holy Spirit to guide you, your life is never going to be natural. Your life is going to be supernatural. Why? Because you're tapping into faith. And what does James chapter 1 verse 5 say? How should we ask for wisdom? With? We should ask for wisdom with faith, without doubting, not being double-minded. And faith is the things which are seen or unseen. It is unseen, believing in the unseen. That is why when I tap into the wisdom of God, it is an act of faith. There's nothing to feel, there's nothing to see, there's nothing to reason out. It is just faith. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. So let's go to that scripture again. Okay? Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom and with all thy getting, get understanding. Now, what is the meaning of the word understanding? One. Can you please repeat? Hello? Thank you, Jesus. Okay, wisdom. So I'll give an example, okay? Thank you, Jesus. The example is, now, if you know how to use the formula, like in mathematics, there were many formulas that all of us learned in school. Hello? Thank you, Jesus. You all can hear me? Praise God. Yes. Okay. So in maths, we learned a lot of formulas, addition, multiplication, etc. Okay. And, but if we were not able to solve that problem, even though I knew the formula by heart, 
have i actually understood that particular concept that particular formula praise god uh, it's probably just knowledge without wisdom yes so that learning that formula is knowledge and a application of that formula is wisdom okay understanding so in the same way in the same way uh, you know in any any of our lives okay um when we are meditating on one particular scripture we need to learn how to apply that scripture in our life if we have not gotten a practical experience of it that means we do not have the understanding that is the practical working knowledge of the word and that is why it is so important to have understanding of the word praise god thank you jesus you know when um how my life changed after i came into the word is not that you know god didn't love me when i was not in the word when i was not in the word i did not have knowledge and because i did not have knowledge of the word i could not handle certain situations in my life and that is why hosea 46 says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge so knowledge is important but along with knowledge what is more important is wisdom and understanding praise god now what are we learning every day in these sessions what we are trying to learn with the help of the holy spirit is how to get the understanding of the word and that understanding comes when we study we study the word not just read the word thank you jesus okay uh, sister jacqueline is here i'd like to ask her praise god sister jacqueline yes yes you are a teacher right yes now say if you teach in the class okay and the child follows what you thought but if that child does not revise that topic after going back home he does not sit and practice sit with that topic and read it study it understand it is he going to get good marks in the exam no definitely not yeah in the same way in the same way see uh, when it comes to our education we are so apt about it we have to get this right so that i get good scores in my exam our yes. attitude should be the same when it comes to the word of god if i am taking the word seriously and whatever after the class you know i am learning i am sitting with the holy spirit and asking him lord show me show me how to practically understand it that is when the holy spirit reveals it to us but are we seeking understanding or are we seeking lord just solve my problems after i you know you solve my problems you go your way i'll go my way doesn't that happen many a times thank you jesus okay praise god so that is why understanding is so important studying the word is so important and let's learn more about it praise god thank you jesus let's go to the book of mark praise god thank you jesus nicole you can read okay uh the source of the word and these and these are they 
by the wayside where the word is sown. But when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately and taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Now, this is the parable of the sower and the seed. Okay? And this is the first soil, the pathway soil. Okay? The sower soweth the word. Now, who is the sower? Can anybody tell me? Jesus. Yeah, who was, I guess, the people who preach the word? Yes, Brother Neil is absolutely right. The sower is the person who preaches the word. It is you and me, okay? And the word is the word of God. Now, in this session, what am I doing? I am sharing the word. In other words, I am the sower sowing the word. Praise God. And these are they by the wayside where the word is sown. But when they have heard, Satan comes immediately and takes away this word that was sown in their hearts. Now the soil refers to our heart condition. And when the word is being preached, Satan is come immediately. So in this session, has he come? According to yes. the... Yes, he has come because where the word is sown, Satan has to come immediately. Now, why does he want to come? Because he wants to steal the word from our heart. Now, my question is, okay, can Satan steal the word from everybody? Only those without understanding. Okay, praise God. Can anybody else want to say something? Yes, uh, yes, he can steal the word. He he can steal the word. Can he steal it from everybody? Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Uncle Derek. Yeah, 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 yeah. He can. Yes, yes, he can steal the word by okay. putting wrong, 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 uh, wrong thoughts on it. Okay, okay. Praise God. So let's understand to the scriptures. So before we go to that scripture, I want to ask Brother Neil. Brother Neil says that he can steal the word only from those who have not understood. So brother, can you please tell me which scripture says that? Like, uh, There's the same thing in the in same scripture that you took in another gospel, right? Yes, uh, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Praise God. Yes, it is in Matthew chapter 13. Okay, we'll go to that scripture. Thank you, Jesus. That is why, you know, um, the sower and the seed is present in every gospel, okay? And uh, the understanding of the scriptures is so important. Okay, I'll just put the amplified version. Praise God. Okay. Nicole, you can read. Listen then to the meaning of the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom regarding salvation, and does not understand and grasp it, the evil one comes and snatches away what is sown in his heart. This is the one on whom seed was sown beside the road. Praise God. So the people whose heart condition is like that of the first soil are those people who are hearing the word of the kingdom of God, but they do not understand and grasp it. And because they do not understand, Satan comes and snatches away what was sown in their hearts. And that is why 
we have to be so vigilant that is why we have to get understanding of the word because when we get understanding of the word that is when even though satan has come to steal the word he cannot steal the word why because you have understood so satan can only steal the word from those people who hear it but they do not understand but for those people who have the understanding he cannot steal the word by this what i'm trying to say is see so many times we go through the teaching you might be listening day and night to the teachings okay but there are certain things you are not understanding and because you have not understood it is not in your heart and after few days if i were to ask you what we are learning today how many people would answer immediately and how many people would you know struggle to answer the difference is not that person who's answering immediately has the word in his heart because he has understood it he has studied it he has gone back after the class listened to the recording again sat with the holy spirit and asked the holy spirit to show him practically in his life thank you jesus but the person who has heard the teaching but has not taken down notes has not been vigilant not given his 100% of attention you know in studying the word that person after few days if you have to ask that person what was thought that person won't be able to recall why because he did not understand he did not pay attention and that is why the devil stole that seed called the word of god from his heart thank you jesus that is why it is so important to have understanding and understanding comes when you study the word on a regular basis thank you jesus would anyone like to add something here praise god any questions yes brother yes, nil yeah uh, okay uh, so like if you look at the matthew the scripture in matthew um uh, it says two things uh, the the evil one can steal it if you grasp if you understand if you do not understand and grasp it and then i was thinking of like I, i'm just thinking about it i don't know for sure uh that uh i can understand something i can see it's practical like see suppose you're teaching it to us you can show it to us practically and uh, i can understand it in that moment but i think grasp it would probably mean that understanding is a top priority in my life for example i'm sure a lot of us understood calculus uh, in school uh, but if you would ask me to solve something like some complicated problem i may have a difficulty why because probably it's not a priority like it's not still on my mind like i have not grasped it till now so i think the devil can steal it even if you have understood it but it's still not a priority in your life i don't know i'm not too sure about this but this is something i was uh, thinking of as i was meditating Please and then call. yes brother continue and then another thing was uh, i don't know where you were talking about this but uh, i think someone this start so you spoke about uh, grace and uh sorry you're talking about wisdom uh and knowledge and then i was thinking about it like grace uh, is a free gift everyone has it and then uh you been you know we have the scripture right grace and peace be yours through knowledge of god and knowledge of yes, god jesus Christ. so in that i would i personally would understand that grace exists irrespective of whether i know god or i don't know god right because grace is a free gift but 
the associated peace, grace and peace. The peace will be there only when I know God's love and the knowledge of God. Because I'm sure even when all of us were not in the world, we had amples of blessings. That's why we were not in the world, right? That's why we thought we were self-sufficient and things like that. But even in the presence of that grace, we were still worried about everything. Because we knew not that it comes from God. We knew not God's love. We knew not how to use that grace. We knew not the word. So I think that scripture as such, grace and peace. Uh, it's specifically mentioned and peace there according to me is according to what the Holy Spirit is telling me is because it peace depends on your knowledge of the word and experience of God's love in your life. Please, sir. Praise God. What you shared was so beautiful, brother, that understanding and grasping it, that is so true. That is what it means by paying attention to the word of God constantly. It's a constant process because change doesn't take place in one day. It takes place over a period of time. The more we renew our minds constantly with the word, no matter what comes our way, that is when we will tap into that supernatural grace that God is giving us. Thank you, Jesus. And grasping is so important. Paying attention to the word is so important. Because if we do not pay attention to the word of God, that is when all the, you know, we will fall prey to the lies of the enemy. Now, the reason why we all are gathered here today, you know, at this particular time, is because we have gotten the understanding of the word. We have gotten the understanding of how this living word of God is so important, so practical, so alive. And that is why we are making a decision to use this one hour together and fellowship and get the understanding from the Holy Spirit. Because Praise God, brother, you could have used this time for something else, but you made this your priority. Why? Because you realized the, through the knowledge of the word, you got the understanding. You got the understanding of the word. And that is why you are here. Isn't it? Praise God. Yes, sister. Thank you, Jesus. So thank you, brother, for sharing your thoughts on this. Would anyone else like to share something? Nicole, any questions? Or anything to share? No, no, Priya. Praise God. Sister Jacqueline? Yes. <clears throat> yes, sister. Hello. Praise God. Sister Jacqueline, can you please repeat what you just said? I was having some network issues. Hello. Yes, sister. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, sister, you were saying something? Yeah, I'll be sharing uh, tomorrow. Today, actually, I'm not keeping well. 
but just to say that you know these are the two basic areas which i lack you know i'm extremely you know uh fall short of knowledge and wisdom both and uh, this is as you said you know that the only thing at the moment is that i want my problems to disappear i've never ever prayed this prayer that you i've never ever tackled any situation in my life till today in this manner as you directed us today that you ask for wisdom from the lord to solve your problem i always expect him to be a magician and just you know wipe away my problem right away otherwise you know i start you know my faith is shaken and i start doubting him you know so i thank you from the bottom of my heart for bringing me to this realization that all i need right now is to work on my faith you know and to enhance my knowledge and enhance my wisdom and the only way out is by you know being in touch with the word of god you know so praise really god to you it's all glory to god sister because i did not know how this word spoke to you but it is just the holy spirit teaching us moment by moment thank you jesus okay so if there are no questions and nobody wants to share anything we can end today's session and continue tomorrow so aunty jacqueline you would like to make the prayer the closing prayer for today can you hear me yes loud and clear loving father we thank and praise you for this lovely moment today i was not supposed to join as i was under a lot of stress since morning but you made me join i thank and praise you for the gift of this wonderful little angel in my life priya i don't know how she manages to find time for all of us in spite of her busy schedule and i thank you for all the participants lord because all of them encourage me though at times most of the times in fact i'm unable to join but always i know that the others are attending and that itself creates in me this urge to try and join i thank and praise you for making me a member of this group lord we are all scattered we are all in different places i know and yet you unite us and i feel confident that the holy spirit guides us thank you jesus praise you jesus keep us all united and let us all remain united in prayer amen amen thank you aunty for this beautiful prayer thank you all for joining in today's thank session you. see you all tomorrow surely bye, bye.